Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. Today's video is my July 2020 vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to share the things that I was sewing in July, give you a little behind the scenes peek into what I've been up to and recap the blog posts and videos that I made this month. Let's get started. Let, today, let's start with what I've been sewing. First off, I have a tassie robe or tassie robe. Oh my gosh, I should know how to say it. I designed it, right? <laughs> I released this pattern at the beginning of June and this is a draft it yourself robe and jacket pattern. And this is a robe made out of vintage terry cloth that my great aunt gave to me a few years ago. Um, I'll put a, a photo in here so you can see the full thing. It's really cute, really short, um, kind of crop sleeves. I didn't have a whole lot of fabric, so it just hits to mid thigh, but I've actually really loved wearing it. It's a nice little topper in the morning when it's still cold out, and the fabric is just super fun. I really love it. Also this month, I made a Seamwork K top, and this is kind of like a lounge bra. Um, it's just a shelf bra, a little crop top, and I've really loved it. Um, I would say you could wear it for like light yoga, but not for jumping jacks or running. Um, I've really had a good time wearing it, and I'm going to make some more. I already have fabric cut out. This is a black compression fabric, um, so I'm going to just make another one. And then I also want to do one that's a little bit longer, um, like maybe to go kind of just like mid torso. Right now it hits right about here. Um, and I did do a few changes to the pattern. I made a size medium, but I'm pretty sure they draft for a C cup and I'm closer to a D. So I ended up taking out a few wedges right here to get like a better fit around the bust. I was having some gaping right here. So I just moved the pattern to kind of close that up. But I really, love this pattern. This is from Seamwork Magazine, which is part of Colette Patterns. Um, it's just been really fun to wear. Um, I have a new active wear pattern coming out in August, and I really love pairing it with this top. Another thing I've been continuing to work on is my freewheeling single girl quilt. This is a pattern by Denise Schmidt, and I'm making a queen size quilt, which is huge. So I'm doing four columns of these um, wheels and I've done all of my yellows. So the way I'm doing it is it's going to start really light at the top and then go darker towards the bottom. So you can kind of see here's like lighter yellow and then darker yellow. And now this month I got into my pink and red um, wheels. So I have a bunch of these. It's a really nice project to just do a little bit of at a time. Um, I can kind of take it and leave it. My sewing room is a mess right now because I'm just in the middle of all these all these projects, but it's really fun. Um, I have two more columns to go. I'm going to do, I think, blue and then either green or purple. I have to figure that out. <laughs> Another project that I actually made in June but forgot to show you is a kind of bean bag. <laughs> Here it is. This might be kind of hard to show. It's kind of this pyramid triangle shaped bean bag. Like, have you ever had those little ice creams that come in a thing like this and you open it and you push it up from the bottom? It's kind of like one of those. I saw them on Pinterest and then kind of figured out how to make the pattern and I just filled it with fabric scraps. Um, so it's really fun and also this is all like pieced fabric scraps um, But it's a pretty cool project. My cat actually really likes sitting on it. I'll look for a picture to put in. It's super cute um, I like that he enjoys it because he um, I Made him a bed once before when he was a little kitten and he sat on it once and then never sat on it again <laughs> So it's, it's nice that he's actually sat on that bean bag multiple times. Like I didn't make it for him, but I think it's really sweet that he likes it. All right. That's most of what I've been making. I've also been making samples for my new pattern, which is really exciting, but I'm going to keep that kind of a secret. Um, it should release in the beginning of August. So in the next week or two, 
Um, pretty exciting. It's great for summer. It uses stretch fabric. Um, yeah, pretty fun. Easy to sew, really comfy to wear. Great for being at home when it's warm out. Now let's recap the blog posts and videos that I did in July. First up, I did a blog post on my Slabtown backpack pop in a picture. Definitely check that out. It's a really fun project. Um, I got a kit from Clubhouse. They gifted it to me, which was really nice of them. Um, it's wax canvas and letter, leather and um, padded felt shoulder straps. So it's a really cool backpack. The next blog post that I did was how to use the draft it yourself tossy robe. That's a video that takes you step by step how to use the draft it yourself pattern and that one is exclusive to people who've purchased the pattern. I also did a video about how to make your own quilted fabric and this one is really for my quilted slippers pattern but you can use it for other patterns as well or just if you want to make quilted fabric. So these are the slippers that I made in that video. Um, the video will show you what, how to mark the fabric with your quilting lines and then a few different ways that you can quilt it on your sewing machine. I also did a blog post about the morning side blouse that I made a while back. Um, it's just been taking me a while to get blog posts done about everything. I've been so into my new patterns and getting out so long posts that I'm quite behind on posts about the things that I've made. So definitely check out my morning side blouse pat, uh, post. It's um, a really great blouse and I really loved it. Another video that I did in July was how to decide how much fabric to buy. This video gives you guidelines for deciding how much fabric you're going to want to buy even if you don't know exactly what pattern you want to make. I even made a little decision tree to help you with the process that I think is pretty fun. Then I did a video with 10 ideas for hacking patterns and a few tips for a successful pattern hack. And then, as I already mentioned, I did a blog post about my terry cloth animal print tossy pool robe. Well, I think that's it for my sewing news. Definitely stay tuned in August for my new pattern. I think you're, I hope you're really going to like it. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's kind of different from a lot of my other patterns in that it's really fitted, um, has negative ease. So you really need to have that stretchy knit fabric, um, but it's really fun, really comfortable to wear and really useful. I might be doing a little less posting in the coming weeks on Instagram and YouTube because I have a freelance gig for graphic design that's really keeping me busy. So just to like keep some balance and not work too much, I might only be posting on YouTube every other week, but don't worry, I'm still here. I'm still going to keep trying to post as much as I can, but also try to maintain that balance. Well, I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe. Make sure to check the show notes to links to all those things that I mentioned. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the little subscribe down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing. Bye.